uh, some of the startups that we had uh, this entire week will have the opportunity to pitch, uh, hopefully uh, to get an investor to invest in them. Hopefully, that depends on how good your pitch is. One of the things, amazing things that happen is that the ability to customize experiences throughout because initially when we were trying to pitch, we didn't know exactly how to go about it. But over time, of course, we, we figured out uh, something that may, may, makes sense. And maybe if you're impressive enough, some will do something, something. So. Yeah, an insure tech that is focused on last mile distribution of micro insurance. What we mean by that is we give border borders, drivers and commuters a 10 bob per day sort of insurance that takes care of them in the event of an accident. I'm curious about the regulatory space of insurance. Are, yeah. are you working with an underwriter? Do you have the obligations of underwriting anything or are you as it's just sales? We have micro insurance as a core yeah. and then we have Sunlam, APA and CIC and anyone else can plug into micro insurance. In a regulatory sense, are you responsible for any of that part? No, no, the risk you're just is just providing the tech. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just you're a tech, tech company, that is even better. I will invest. We offer branding solutions in the form of content, uh, content marketing and production, social media marketing and production, and we also offer virtual assistance, aka support for other startups as they continue focusing on building the end product, their vision, their team. So we end up like streamlining the processes between them. So this is what I'd do if I was you. Yeah. I'd start focusing on Africa. Okay. Forget the local CEOs. Okay. There may be demand, but it's not good enough demand. You are one hour different, two hour difference from Europe, any European city. You are billing $1,500 an hour. That's so cheap. If you look at a European virtual assistant, that could be about $40 to $50 an hour. I'm happy to sit with you after this in the office and just structure that. This problem is deeply personal to me because unfortunately, growing up in an abusive home, by the time I was 19, I urgently need mental health support for myself. The best way to start would have been to start by hiring your own therapist. You have to do to build what we call a thick platform, not a thin platform. A thin platform is where the supply side is more or the demand side is more or less. They don't match each other. So on your platform, you can't say you don't give therapist contacts. It's a relationship-based service. I need to be able to call my therapist in the middle of the night and say, whoa, we're having a teenager in the school who's thinking about committing suicide. You get it? We run a payment platform called LipaSport and what we're trying to do is really just revolutionize the way small businesses, especially retail outlets, access digital payments. How many agencies are using your, P, uh, your POS? Like I said, we are piloting this. We piloted it due to the 100 uh, agents. Okay. At the moment, we now want to go into Are you designing and producing your own POS or are you buying and rebranding? No, we, we, we basically, we are, we are an authorized reseller for one of the major manufacturers from China. Yeah. So we buy the, the POS yes. and then we um, be, uh, you, build you, the application. So the backend system belongs to us. Okay. Um, so it's an open, it's open source for you to, the, P, the POS is sort of open. It's, op, it's, it's open, open, open for you to build applications on top. Because it's Android anyway. It's Android anyway. Yes. Okay. So like it's an Android app on an Android POS. Yes. Um, and now, uh, what's, when you do an agency, one, two, three. Do you give them for free or do you sell them? No, we, we sell them. And that's why we're trying to add as much value onto it. Reports, mm. credit facility for those businesses. Yeah. And then you can charge, instead of charging them 25K, you can charge them 2,500 for 10 months. You recover your money, but you are the lender. That's how yeah. I go about it. Kuna duka zingine zina nuwa kwako? Kuna duka, eh, kuna wasi wana nuwa muffins kutoka kwango. Ndiyo wa uzia watu? Ndiyo uzia wasi. Okay, so that's biz that we call that B2B, business to business. So my Ukiuzi home say keki directly ni business to customer. Ukiuzi a shop ni business to business. So uzi a business in Guinea Kwanza. So because the individuals say we are on a birthday once a year. We are taking you buy kutoka kwa kwa every day. We take you buy once a year. So kwa once a year na spend one two thousand on you na make one thousand. Jaribu make sure who you who them akwa kikwachia fifty boba mambao kila si on a daily basis. Which means that's two k ama six k a month instead of 1,000, 2,000 a year.